files which are, which are inaccessible. What are those? There would be, there's so many documents which are missing. That is what I mentioned. There are so many uh, documents which we want. Are there also some files which are quote unquote inaccessible? No, no, no. Absolutely not. No, as a principle, I would never agree to that. So nothing is inaccessible. What I said once, yeah, that is not, not that is the, uh, Ambassador Shyam Saran had created uh, the only recent, this very wonderful, uh, they, they didn't have one. Uh, he's created this archives and you can see uh, it's accessible with the permission of the, of the secretary. Uh, but nothing that is with us under the rule of the National Archives is privileged. Nothing at all, I assure you. The only restriction is, which is a very stupid restriction, is that you cannot move documents from one building to the other. For, for what reason, I don't know. <laughs> so they have to stay where they are and gather dust. Not a Is there, you know, Raj mentioned in passing, uh, is history becoming untouchable? I mean, this, this cartoon, Nobody talks about the context in which that cartoon was drawn. That three years after he started working on it, he still hadn't finished it. And you know, but nobody mentioned that. It was only to do with a, a pundit and a uh, that is. You know, well, I think that when passions run high, uh, then, uh, then obviously uh, these things happen. You, you lose a sense of proportion. But your more general question, I think, uh, uh, I think history is, is gaining legitimacy, greater uh, legitimacy. And I think an average uh, Indian, I'm not talking about the world at large, uh, has much greater interest in, in historical events and, uh, and historical uh, landmarks. I think the problem is with us, uh, the stodgy historians who have not presented history in an interesting way. But if we had uh, more of Dalrymple's, uh, then perhaps we would have uh, reached a, a, a much wider audience. And now we do have more of Dalrymple's. Uh, we have lots and lots of writers who write very beautifully uh, and very effectively. And who deal with themes which also uh, strike a chord uh, with uh, with the other classes.